All right, if I had any tension or tightness in my knee, especially on the inside, I would want to look at the adductor or the inside of the upper leg. To do that, I'm going to straighten my leg, turn it out, rest my heel on the ground, and point my, my, my toe out. I'm going to take some balm, try to cover this whole area, use the tapered edge to sort of just put it on like butter. And this is a good time since I'm working my left adductor, I have to use my left hand. I don't have any leverage with my right hand. So this is a, a motivation to get proficient with both hands. If you're left-handed and you're working on your right adductor, you're going to have to use your right hand. So I'm going to start by using the rounded back, and I'm going to get through. This can be tight and sometimes a little sensitive. So I'm just going to get through some long sweeping strokes, and I'm just going to start to feel where this tension is. And I can feel a line of tension right away. So I'm going to go ahead and hone in on it a little bit with this beveled edge. And the one thing you want to know is that the bevel edge should always lead in the direction that you're going. So you point the tapered edge toward the direction that you're moving. So I'm working that way. And you'll see what happens when I flip and come back. That beveled edge points back up. And here I come. And I'm just using burst strokes now. Not a ton of pressure. I'm not pushing down too hard. But I'm maintaining some speed and I'm keeping the pressure in both directions. If I need to, and in this case I do, I'm gonna pull some of this tissue back a little bit with my other hand, and I'm gonna get through again. And it's gonna to continue to keep the muscle tight enough that I can get down and tighten it up.